Well, folks, it turns out I was incorrect about the reversing loop. It's not actually reversing loop. Uh, yesterday, after connecting this to the layout, I realized something, which is that I had the reversing loop, the reversing loop connected to the whole layout, and there were no short circuits. Now, you may be asking, why did I connect that? I connected it because um, I'm just trying to fit the track together, so I just put a couple rail joiners and connected the whole thing to the circuit. But as you guys saw, there were trains running and stuff. So then at that point, I was a little bit confused. And I was like, is part of the track not getting power? What is going on? And uh, it's kind of funny because a few months ago, somebody commented on one of my videos and they were like, oh yeah, this doesn't count as a reversing loop. Uh, you don't have to do any special wiring. And I was a bit skeptical. I was kind of like, oh yeah, right. I've done so many tests. I know for sure this is a reversing loop. So I'm not entirely wrong. The polarity of the track does change in this loop. But here, I'll show you kind of an example. So you can see, if I put the steam engine on the track here, it goes this way. If I put it here, it wants to go that way. So the polarity does change. But what I failed to take into account is that the polarity changes, comes up here, and then it changes back again. So the polarity changes, but it changes back before connecting to the rest of the track. So it, it basically, there's no reversing. It's just turning the train around several times until it's on the same current again. So. Um, if I had put a switch or something here, there would probably be a short circuit, but since it's isolated and then reverses back around, it doesn't count. So this is kind of a nice thing because I'll be able to run trains onto it and I won't have to stop the train and change the current in the track or anything. So that aspect is nice, but you know it's kind of too bad. I was hoping I could turn trains around, but I realize now that that was actually kind of impossible. So yeah, it's uh, it's mixed, but ultimately it's positive and it's just the way it is so you know we're all human we're all prone to error and this was just my misjudgment but anyways it's all part of the learning process and uh yeah i guess i don't have to do any complicated wiring now so that's always nice well that wraps it up for today's video probably do a new video tomorrow or something so thank you guys for watching maybe we'll take the speeder out tomorrow Wah. yeah